This is um, some fantastic work by Matt Daniels. I'm going to have to encourage you guys to check out that Twitter at Matthew underscore Daniels uh, because of this person does such a fucking great job. Um, so what this person has done, and I'm not sure how well you can see it, but I'll try to, you know, supplement that a bit, is they decided to take rappers and uh, since lyrics are ready and available on the internet, let's add up their first 35,000 words in their recorded history, okay? And then from that, let's delete duplicated words so that we only have a sense of how many unique individual words have been used by these artists in their first 35,000 lyrics, okay? If that makes sense. Um, and it's an interesting way to analyze and see the vocabulary usage by different artists and different regions. So um, let's see if we can show this off for a minute here. Uh, starting on one side, we have something like Little Yachty, for example. Um, and Little Yachty is using, out of all that 35,000 words, he's using about 3,100 unique new words, okay? Um, let's go to the other side of the contrast. We have someone like Watsky, okay? And they're going to be doing 5,400 words from Watsky. Now, does this mean your music is better? No. Uh, you know, also, what about people who get more verbose or start using more vocabulary after their first 35,000? Not being represented here, so you always need to know the limitations of some data analysis. Um, also, you know, the, you could score the highest score on here by reading the dictionary, right? But, you know, it's still interesting to get a sense of vocabulary use in hip hop and how much that pertains to sales versus, you know, other things. Uh, what I love is there's a Just Wu-Tang option. So if you look at Just Wu-Tang and you click that, let's see who we have, Method Man, um, the lowest member of the Wu-Tang with 4,900 unique words. We got uh, then Raekwon, so only based on solo albums, not Wu-Tang material, 5,400 words. Killer Priest with 5,700. Ghostface with 59. RZA with 6,000. Uh, and Wu-Tang itself is a collective at 61, almost 6,200. And then Jizza, the genius, not surprisingly on top, was 6,300. So it's almost interesting. The more uh, popular the artist, the more you are going to be in this middle. So actually using extreme vocabulary is not necessarily uh, the recipe for success financially. And you can see on top here we have 4,000 words and 5,000. Uh, without talking hella much more on this, just to kind of share something that's interesting to y'all. Um, let's see, what do we have? If we have Shakespeare, okay, Shakespeare, he's here at 5,100. Shakespeare is around the level of con or common. So as far as vocabulary use, the, the man himself, right, is on the top tier of rappers, but not better than a, a lot of these rappers. Moby Dick, for contrast, will be at 6,000. That's around RZA's uh, or Immortal Techniques, just above Immortal Technique or Cannabis's level of vocabulary. Now, that also might be a little skewed because they're using a lot of nautical terms in Moby Dick. That kind of just gives you a lot of vocabulary off the bat. There is a little bit of a, uh, East Coast bias on this. I'm not seeing casual uh, Represented. I'm not seeing Pep Love represented. I'm not seeing Souls of Mischief. I'm not seeing Zumbi from Zionai or even Digital Underground. Those are all Oakland artists that I think should be on here. They're world famous and deserve to be on here. And if I just uh, scroll down a little bit more, this gives you a sense more of a breakdown regionally. You got uh, West Coast in the green. You got East Coast in the, um, let's see, blue. Um, and then you got a lot of Southern artists in the red. Not, not surprisingly, a lot of the best-selling Southern uh, artists in general are in this range from about 3,000 to uh, 4,500, and you can see the South dominating there. Um, very interesting. I do think there would be more West Coast representation if you included uh, some more of these artists that were unfairly excluded, in my opinion. So anyways, um, yeah, we got, you know, Big Terry say Shakespeare invented motherfucking words, and we have at least 20 artists on here above him. Uh, I don't know. To me, that's interesting. I'd be curious what y'all think about that. But uh, again, shout out to Matthew Daniels. Uh, check out that Twitter. I'll, I'll post this on my Twitter as well if you guys want to get to it later. Um, interesting stuff.